Today, I'll show you guys how to create this silky smooth text animation within Premiere Pro. So let's just get right into it. Alrighty, so once you get into your Premiere Pro project and have a background layer, the first thing we're going to do is create some text. So it does depend on what words you're creating, but for now, I'm just going to create the word smooth. Once you have your word created, we're just going to go to this little arrow icon and go back up to the text. And then we're just going to drag this little circle right into the middle and make sure you are holding control because it will snap right to the middle of it. Then we're just going to drag it up and make it a little bigger by grabbing one of the sides and dragging it all the way up. And then if you just just hold control and grab the entire text you can see it snaps right into the middle and then just to get this out of the way we're going to create some additional tracks so just click on this dead space go to add tracks and then we're just going to add an additional 10 tracks and just click ok now we're going to have to create individual layers for each one of these letters so we're just going to go down here hold alt and grab and drag this layer up and release on your mouse key and you created a duplicate layer we're just going to select this second layer we're going to go up right here to the top we're going to double click on the text layer and then we're just going to type in the first character that appears in the letter so for me it's going to be s and all you want to do is repeat this step and just match up the letters to the ones underneath it so we're just going to hold alt grab it again drag it up release on your mouse key click on that third layer and we're going to double click on it we're going to change it to the m and then we're just going to go up to the vector motion tab and we're just going to move it over so it matches perfectly with the m on the second row now we're just going to hold alt grab up and then and release on your mouse. We're going to click on that top layer, double click on that text layer once again, and then do the second character. You can see I did the O for this one right here. Just go to the position and then just drag it all the way. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're not going to really notice it, but just try to get it as close as possible. And then we're just going to keep duplicating these layers and changing the text until we have all of the characters in individual files. Alrighty, so once you have each letter individually characterized, we're just going to scroll down and delete that text file that has all of the characters in it so we're just going to click it and press delete and as you can see now we have all the characters in individual layers so we're just going to start off with the very first character so we're just going to select the s for me and then we're going to go up to the effects panel and type in transform we're going to go down to the distort and grab that transform layer and place it right on top of that s and then we're just going to scroll down on the transform layer and the first thing we're going to do is crank the shutter angle all the way up to 360. we're just going to drag this little blue tracer to the two second spot and then we're we're going to create a keyframe on the position for the transform layer. We're going to scroll back a little bit and then we're going to go over here to the position layer and then we're going to extend the height of it. So we're going to change the 540 to 480. Press OK and it automatically makes a keyframe. We're going to go one frame over. So just use your arrow key and then we're going to create a keyframe right here. So this keyframe and this keyframe should be the exact same. And then we're going to go to the very beginning of the timeline and grab the 480 and just drag it all the way down until you can't see that text layer anymore. Next thing we're going to do is select all of the layers. So just grab and hold with your mouse. Make sure they're all highlighted in blue. We're going to right click, go to temporal and go to bezier. Now we're just going to open this file up with this little arrow key and you can see everything is here. So the first thing we're going to do is click on these first keyframe. We're going to drag it down and drag it over. We're going to zoom in a bit so it's a little easier for you guys to see. We're going to go to the second keyframe right here. We're going to go down and we're going to go over and then we're going to go to this third keyframe go down and over and then for the final keyframe we're just going to go down and over so let's just check that out right now it doesn't look very realistic so i'm just going to grab the three final keyframes right here disregard this first one and we're going to drag it a little bit closer we'll play it back and i say it looks good and the only other thing we're going to do is just scroll into these two middle keyframes make sure they're deselected and then we're just going to grab this third keyframe and drag it to the second keyframe so they're very close together this just makes the transition a little smoother when it goes back down but once you have this smooth animation all we have to do is copy this transform layer to the other characters to so make sure your blue tracer is at the very beginning of the timeline click the transform layer and click Control copy go to your second character layer Control v go to the third Control v Control v you just want to make sure Control v'ing all of the characters and then if we play that back you can see they go up at the same time we do want to have a little bit of a delay for them so all I'm going to do is go to the very start of the project file. We're going to use our arrow keys. So we're going to go two frames over. We're going to grab the second character and drag it to that very front spot. We're going to go two frames over, drag our third character to that spot, do more characters, drag our fourth one. And we want to just keep doing this for the next layer. Just keep going two keyframes over and dragging it all the way over. 
And if we play that back, you can see it has a really smooth uptrend and it's a little bit delayed on each character. And we are just gonna wanna repeat this process for it going down. So I'm just gonna start doing that at the three second period. So what I'm gonna wanna do is just extend all of these layers out so we have some more room to work with. And then we're just gonna grab our razor tool and cut each individual character at that three second period. And if we just go back, you can see all of the characters are now cut in half. So we're just gonna start from the very end character so the h for my example and we're going to select that layer we're going to go to the very beginning of that layer and then we're going to go to the transform layer we're going to click this blue keyframe and then we're just going to make sure we delete it we're going to reselect the position layer to create a keyframe we're going to move 10 frames over from the original cut and then we're going to change our height on our position layer to 480 go forward one more frame with your arrow key so just do one more on your arrow and then we're going to create another keyframe which is just this one right here here. So both of these keyframes should be the exact same. And then we're going to go all the way to the four and a half second marker. And then we're just going to drag the position height all the way down so we can no longer see it. We're just going to select all four of these keyframes, make sure they're highlighted in blue. We're just going to select one of them, go to temporal and bezier, open this position layer up, and then we're just going to have to make them a little smoother. I'm just going to scroll in a bit for the first keyframe, but for now, we're just going to go down and over. We're going to go down and over on the second keyframe. For the third keyframe, we're just gonna focus on the right-hand side. So we're gonna go down and over, and then we can just scroll over to that fourth and final keyframe and go down and over. And then since I wanna make it as smooth as possible, we're gonna take this third keyframe. You can see the first one is over here. Just take this third keyframe and mush it up right to the second one until you see that little white line. And let's play this back and see if it looks all right. We might have to change a couple things. I can see this first part is a little too fast, and that second part is a little too slow. So what we're gonna do is grab this fourth keyframe, drag it up a little closer, and then we're gonna hold and select the last three keyframes, disregard the first one, and we're gonna drag it out a little bit more. It's kind of a personal opinion on how you want it to be, but you can just play around with these keyframes to get it how you like. But for me, I think this is perfect. So we're just gonna go to the very beginning of this cut layer, make sure it's at the very start of it. We're gonna go to the transform layer, select it, do control copy. An easy way to do this is just selecting all the layers Layers you haven't added that transform layer to and then just press Control v and then if you go on each one of them now you can see the transform layer is on all of them so we're just gonna have to create that delayed effect we're just gonna go two frames over with your arrow keys we're gonna grab the second to last character drag it up two keyframes go another two keyframes over drag your next character two frames over grab your next character and then just keep doing this to all of the characters within your word so if we play that back you can see that all of these layers are kind of have disappeared because we dragged them forward so we're just going to have to extend them so they match up with these layers all right if we play that back you can see we have a silky smooth text animation that goes up and then back down now if you're interested in creating an animated background in premiere pro to complement this text animation go ahead and click the video on the right that's everything for me guys peace out